Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon, guys. Today we're doing a 5.7 by 28 millimeter ballistics gel test. Got a brand new clear ballistics gel block here from Clear Ballistics. I'd like to thank them for helping the channel out. And we are going to be using the FN SS197 SR. Now this is a 40 grain bullet and I believe it's a Hornady VMAX with the blue tip loaded in this cartridge. I think Fiocchi uh, produces this. I'm not going to swear to it. I think they do. Uh, I don't know. I don't see it on here. Yeah, it is right here. Made in the United States by Fiocchi USA. So it's just branded under the F FN name there. But let's see what it does. I don't see any any velocity ratings on here. So we'll see what it does. We have our chronograph set up. We're gonna be using this PSA Rock 5.7. Uh, full size handgun. Don't know of any subcompacts or compacts in this cartridge. So this is what we're going with. Not to mention it's the only gun I own chambered in this cartridge. We have four layers of denims here. We have gel block Jerry ready to ride the block. I don't think he's gonna get much action today, but we'll see. We'll set him right there on the block. I might have just cursed him. I'll probably hit him now that I said that. But we're gonna shoot three rounds into this block. I got an old junk catch block here in the rear. We'll see how they do. I don't think the denim's gonna be a factor with these since they are ballistic tip. But there's no sense in talking about it anymore. You know what we're testing. We know what we're getting ready to do. Let's load up and see how it does. One thousand six hundred and sixty feet per second. That little sucker is moving. So here's what we got. Good looking wound track starts about three inches into the block. Pretty decent all the way through. You can see that blue tip right there. Good looking wound track. I know I say tracked with a T because I'm from Kentucky. And there sets our bullet. We are right at 15 inches of penetration gel block jerry didn't move a whole lot but that was also kind of down in the block pretty good so he wouldn't have felt much of that but that's a good looking track guys uh let's put another one in there i'll put the denim back up i'll leave that black backing there for the slow-mo see if it helps any i know it'll probably blow off but all right let's try shot number two One thousand six hundred and forty-two. This time we are the bottom wound track, and very, very similar performance. The bullet went about an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch less. We're at about a little over fourteen, and maybe fourteen and a quarter or so inches of penetration, and blue tip lost in the exact same spots. Look from the top. Can't really see a whole lot from the top since that shot was under. I'm going to try to put one above on this next one. As far as the bullet expansion, it doesn't look like they are expanding much. Hope you can see that. Little tip deformation in both. I'm not so sure that Full Metal Jacket wouldn't do this. This looks like it maybe a tumbling track. But after this third shot, we'll dig the bullets out and take a look and then make our opinion from there. Let's try shot number three. One thousand six hundred and two slowing down each shot this time it is the very top wound track very very similar performance little gap in our stretch cavity there i'm believing this is t this is tumbling effect it's not bad i mean it's doing great but look at the bullet it doesn't look like it's expanded a little tip deformation like i said and that one's about 14 and a quarter as well as far as our penetration goes but looking at all three of these bullets in the jail, the wound tracks look great, but the expansion is virtually non-existent. So there's 
three blue tips about three three and a half inches into the gel and then woof, there goes our wound shot let's dig these bullets out and take a look real quick guys while i got your attention go over and check out jason's killing and grilling channel he's putting out great content he does from the field to the fork footage so you get to see him hunt take deer and then has some awesome cooking videos where he's actually cooking the game that he takes in the field <clears throat> the dude make your mouth water watching his cooking videos and he's not too shabby of a hunter anyways good friend of mine i grew up with him went to school with him great dude so do me a favor and go check him out i'll have a link to his channel in the description below go check it out jason's killing and grilling all right guys here they are in the order that they were shot like i said that's not really expansion let me move let me get a focus here there we go it's not really expansion in my opinion that's just nose deformation that was the first shot kind of the same here looked like that one wanted to expand it didn't know and kind of the same here with the third and you can tell the way that it's sloping to one side that bullet is definitely tumbling see how they're kind of half moon shaped or crescent moon shaped they're definitely tumbling through that gel so that's what we got a little bit of tip left in that one a little bit of tip left in that one but that's what we got let's let the man take a look see what he thinks about it so the 40 grain V Max out of a 5.7 by 28 pistol. Would I carry it? Yeah, probably. I would probably carry that because the wound track speaks for itself. Uh, the penetration was good, no problems with the denim. But I'm not so sure that you wouldn't get similar results with just a standard full metal jacket. That may be something we need to test. If you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments. We may do a full metal jacket test in jail just to see if we get comparable wound tracks, and we very well may. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I would carry that, and especially in this little handgun. I say little, but it's full-size Hosscat. You get 23 of those suckers. So 23 rounds in the mag, plus one in the chamber, 24 rounds of that type of performance yeah it's especially for home defense you got a, a rail here where you could put a light on there you could have 24 rounds of that type of performance for home defense i wouldn't sneeze at it that's i would go with it so but that's what i got for you today guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to hit like and subscribe till next time guys stay tuned